In this video I'm going to demonstrate this new stereo microscope I just picked up for the shop here and talk about some of the advantages it has over using a conventional magnifier. If you've seen some of my previous videos you might remember me bragging about my homemade magnifier and this thing served me pretty well over the years although I gotta tell you once I bought this I realized I should have picked one up 20 years ago. One of the main advantages you have when you're using a magnifier of this nature is it gives you a great deal of clearance between the bottom of the microscope and your circuit board. So if I need to get in there and use my soldering iron, I've got plenty of room to get in there and solder while looking at my work at the same time. So that's one of the biggest pluses. Now when I used my magnifier, I practically had to have the magnifying lens touching the circuit board to be able to see what I was doing. So this thing's probably going to be sitting on the shelf uh, some of the other things I like about this stereo microscope is that the eyepieces can swivel so if you need to move one in or out for wider eyes you can do that. It came with an extra set of lenses for 20, 20 times magnification and the ones I'm using are 10 times magnification. Now, I'm finding that 10 times is just about right for me although I might want to go with a 5 times as well because the more magnification you have the narrower your field of view. But like I said, for the most part, 10 times seems to be just about right. Now, this particular unit I bought, it's made by a company named Amscope. And there's the model number right there. I picked it up through Amazon, and it was only $184, and they gave me a $30 off that price for getting one of their credit cards. So I thought I got a pretty good deal for my money here. Now this thing also has a uh, swivel LED light so you can change the viewing angle. And sometimes that's important, especially if you're trying to look at numbers on an IC. You'll note that sometimes uh, the glare of the light will cause the numbers not to be that visible. And I find this is quite helpful. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hold this camera right up to the microscope just to give an idea what kind of magnification I get. And uh, I put a ballpoint pen down on there so you can see what I'm get kind of a reference as to what kind of magnification I'm getting. Now as you can see there that's that's pretty impressive. Um, it's kind of hard to hold this thing just right here but uh, anyways you can see it's real easy to see the circuit board and all the numbers and components. In fact I'll show you when you change the lighting angle what I mean about how the numbers can be easier to see. Anyway, uh, some of the other things I like about this microscope are the long extension arm you've got coming off here. Now you adjust this right here to get the height that you need. And when you get it right within the range, you can fine tune it by tuning this knob right here. Now if you had to, you can actually detach this eyepiece right here from the stand. I suppose there might be some rare occasion where you want to do something like that. Um, some of the other things I like about it is that if you loosen this knob right here, not a knob, a lever. Let's see if I can do that right. This thing folds over for storage. And it comes with a nice little plastic pouch that goes over everything. Anyway, best investment I've made in a long time. If you, you all don't have one of these things, you might want to consider picking one up. Whether it's this model or another one. Now I noticed some of them had the option of, uh, of a camera that would go on. And I believe this company also has a camera that can go right in the, the port where the lens goes. I was thinking maybe that might be a good idea, although I'm not sure what it would be like to actually solder when looking through a monitor. And now some of the models out there had strictly cameras. They didn't have the option of a lens. I didn't like the thought of that because, you know, electronics is all going to break down at one point. My thinking is with something like this, the only electronics it has is this LED light right here. And... Uh, if that ever goes out, not a big deal to replace it. Anyway, that's my little demo of this stereo microscope. Hope you enjoy the video, and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up.